When doing graffiti, don't forget the safety equipment, gloves and a mask, since the paint used is a chemical product which can harm the skin and lungs. We're going to learn how to make graffiti using a stencil. A stencil is a design cut out of a piece of paper. In Brazil, graffiti is important and widely used to make political statements or to make people aware of a social issue. We're going to reproduce a piece of graffiti made by the artist Ricardo Tattoo to promote cleaner streets and to encourage people to pick up after their dogs when taking them for a walk. Rather than protesting with violence, Ricardo Tattoo encourages revolution through education in the tradition of educator Paulo Freire. The idea is to use an image and a message which everybody, regardless of age and level of education, can understand, agree with, and spread. The bigger the picture, the easier it will be to see and to understand from a distance. The result, like this dog, should be a simple image with strong contrast and few details. In the street, people are constantly moving, so the design has to be quick and easy to read. To begin with, search online for a suitable image, such as a picture of a dog. Print out a large copy of the image and glue the printout onto another type of paper, such as craft paper. You could also use cardboard or drawing paper, but Ricardo Tattoo recommends using craft paper since it's light, cheap, and strong. It can also be rolled up and transported easily. Moreover, the paper is fibrous, a bit like the fabric of a parachute, which will help to keep your stencil from tearing. You could also use an old x-ray, although these contain lead. It's toxic, not environmentally friendly, and they can tear easily as well.